Tell me, viewer, how much of you have seen a Xenomorph story? Chapters 1 through 10. I have. And before you say this in the copy, I just want you to know that this is a female alien like psycho. This will be a male alien like psycho. So it will probably be more violent. Now, after this series is over, there will be more as life of a taken life. Now, let's look at a little face on her. And what should we name? Not too sure. Now, as you can see, the face on her doesn't look mighty. Now, we have a special way of tracking the face on her and seeing the eyes stuff so I can narrate over. Now, we planted a chip through the egg that goes to the face hugger and you can't see if it's deep within the skin but it can record what the face hugger sees and what it will do to us all and we should once once they merge with it I said face hugger but the reason why is because um yes it will get impregnated Now it seems the first out of the egg. And explore the world. Oh, what's this? Do you want to try to a cow? It must be looking for a boar. Oh, very interesting. like it's a two warrior. It looks like it wants to find the perfect host. Very, very interesting. Usually the face hugger will just go berserk and face hug anything it can. And this and the cows are unseekable. Just wanna they hug the bat either. And it seems to be digging its way out of the sand. Now, in the Xenoth story, it seems George is able to speak. And also... Uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. He can also... Also, the narrator can communicate with them. And he just... And someone found George's egg. But it seems it wants to find a good host. At least something that it thinks would be a good host. Yeah. However, viewer, it will take some time for the face hugger to find a suitable host. I've never seen a swimming face hugger before. Or it may not be looking for a host, but something to start a hive. It could be looking for a hive. We found this egg in an abandoned hive, however. All we saw were, um, I can't, I can't believe I'm trying to thought. Xenomorph bones, but we also found predator markings, so. I guess predators are now attacking hives. It's new. Now. We are also looking for a cure for the black goo, however, we are not finding any. In this planet, TK441 does not yet have the black goo. They're looking for a host. Now, people feel like the facehuggers are dumb and stupid. However, this facehugger may be different, as it doesn't, as it's not latching on. Or, does it not want to latch on? Now, we definitely have no idea where this creature is going. Oh, the best we can assume is that it's probably just looking for a host. 
but this would be a boring video. However, this is more of a documentary. Here, actually, let's get to the Xenomorph life cycle. So I don't. So while the face cycle looks around, we can explain the life cycle. First off, the face. I mean, the the first stage of a Xenomorph life cycle is the overmorph, the egg, and the queen lays those eggs. Now, also. Once those eggs hatch, it will become a face hugger. And the face hugger will latch onto a host impregnating it. With come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes! See that! See that! No no no! no. See 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 that! See that! Did you see that at the bottom of it? You could pause this documentary. That my friends will release I guess technique I guess like it's true mouth and it will impregnate you with an embryo inside that mouth. And then, after a few hours in the gestation period, you will then start to feel a crack in your chest, and then a chest burster will emerge. Now, also, oh, this other seems a lot. Anyways, and then it will evolve quickly into the xenomorph. However, there's a chance that one of one of the overmorphs could be a royal egg. Those um, a royal face hugger comes up, which will impregnate you with the queen embryo and a normal one. Then, after like a, like a, a minute or five, it will die. Usually, face huggers immediately die once they lay the embryo. Now, all queens are females. There's no such thing as a king, and it is still very unclear of how the alien race come into this world. People think they're genetically modified spiders. People think that, you know, how did bees first come into this world? How did chickens first come into this world? They were just here. It was the dawn of time. Now, it's getting late at night. Face hug is heading back to that structure. I didn't get to mention it before, but. It has been a full day. Face hugger has been waiting. I'm not too sure of where it is. However, oh, oh, oh. Face hugger has left. On to the hotel. Now, viewers, you will have to wait for a few minutes. Eventually, it will emerge. It's amazing how he's not unconscious. However, soon, he will die. That is if you try to get the face hugger off. Since the villagers have rectangle heads, it can't exactly wrap its tail around it. It has a little too big and it knows how to Now, oops, you look into my PDA. Not again, not in my PDA. Those, my friend, were all the aliens. How in my PDA. However, I don't want you looking at them. Private government things that we are using to try and interact with. However, I would like to record a documentary about them. Now, you may be wondering how on earth did are you going to Thank you. 